Oh my goodness, guys, God is so talkative. My daughter, Julie, introduced me to a YouTuber. Her name is Star Girl, and she's like a psychic, and she gives me direct, direct, direct messages from God. Like, all this book is just notes from Star Girl, and what she has been saying to me. Like, yesterday, I sat down, and I wrote down 10 pages of notes from her. So I'm going to just share with you some things that she's been telling me. She said that I can get to anything that I was given bravery, courage, and leadership. He said, this fierceness that most people lack, say, you have it. And this is after me and my girls, we call ourselves the Fierce Babes Alliance. She said, you have that passion for life. You have the heart of a warrior. And let me tell you guys, I go to tumblr.com when I get in my stress out mood and I search spiritual warrior. I say, God, you created a warrior. Nikki's a warrior. And anything you send my way, God, I will tackle it and I will do my best with it. Then she said that I'm worried that I'm not good enough, which is exactly, exactly, exactly me. I say, God, who am I to do this work for you? You know, I'm all messed up and crazy. Like, you know, like I have so many things that I need to improve in. I'm not a great speaker. I'm not a great writer. I'm not a great anything, God. Why are you picking me to do this work for you in the world? And so she says also, say sometimes you get into a mental space of worries. And it's true. She said you suffer from a lot of anxieties. And this is exactly what I told you guys that God has been working on with me, huh? All these anxieties and worries. And I'm supposed to be the... A God person here telling you guys to have faith in God and I'm more anxious and worried than anybody else and I question myself like Nikki what is wrong with you do I need to take medication or am I bipolar am I crazy and so she said when you have racing thoughts she said just breathe like just ten, take 10 deep breaths so I'm going to practice that one and she said I don't let my emotions take over my actions. She said, that's why you will be a very good leader. She said, you're learning how to control your emotions. You're more calculative as opposed to reactive. And this is paying off greatly for you. You're gaining the respect of your community. You're gaining the respect of your family because you're learning how to have a poker face. Oh my gosh, guys. This lady is something else because sometimes I will just be boiling over with anger and I just have to control myself and I just have to smile and look pretty and say, God, anything you want me to do, no problem, I got you. And so that's exactly what I've been doing. I'm not been this reactive person anymore. My brother Kevin was the one who said, Nick, I need you to learn how to be a wise woman. So being wise means calming down, means pausing, means going to God and asking him in every moment what he would have me do. Not turned into this crazy mad woman all the time. So again, she's right. She said, when things upset you, maybe before you would react and things will break like in an earthquake. Oh, that's so me guys, because you carry, the whole world shakes when I'm upset, which is so true. A friend told me one time, said, Nikki, when you mad, the whole world knows about it. And so that's what God has been training me. But now you're learning to control your emotions, how to keep a poker, poker face, how to be mature, be professional, no. How to handle your personal emotions, to keep it objective, in control of your emotions, and how you re react towards them. It is gaining you respect, it's granting you opportunities, it's putting you in a leadership role. You're not turning into... You're now turning into that dignified, classy person that was always inside of you. And I've been saying it in my posts. I've been talking so much how God is calling me to be this mature, wise woman. Now going back and forth with everything that comes my way. To just He's been teaching me to calm down, control my emotions. In fact, I'm fasting now. I got back to my fasting. Because in every moment, I want to remember that I'm leaning on God. I'm trusting Him. And his advice and his guidance to guide me on a moment by moment basis. Not this crazy lady going all upset all the time, screaming that the whole world knows when I'm upset. No, it's been teaching me, Nick, relax, be calm, just moment by moment. He said, he's always telling me, Nick, when it 
you, when you're frustrated, tell me everything that's going on with you. But to other people, I want you to learn silence. And God has really, really, really been working on me with this stuff. And what else does she have to say? She said, you look put together. Say, you didn't get like this because life was easy. She say, no, honey, you worked hard. You worked harder than most people. So you had to climb that mountain. You had to go through some S-H-I-T in life. You had to go through the storm. You, do not, you did not let those challenges turn you bitter. And that's exactly what I went through. Yes. Last year, I sent my daughter this text message and I said, let's do hard things for God. But oh my gosh, guys, I did not expect it to be so hard. But I did it. And God told me, don't let bitterness take root. And I didn't. You know, I'm very proud of myself that I was able to shake off the disappointments and the hurts. And I kept climbing that mountain, baby, and keep, kept holding on to God and getting his advice in every moment what he would have me to do. He said, you took your heart and you learned from it. You grew. And now your reward is success, recognition, being respected. Feeling good about myself. What else did she say? She's like, I earned a medal. Like going through the dark night of the soul. And I've been talking so much about me falling a million times last year. But she said, you completed that hard challenge and now you're at top of the mountain and you have been given rewards and you're given recognition. So you will be crowned as you deserve. You have successfully made it through these challenges into this beautiful new person. And now you can finally breathe. This is going to be the time of reaping rewards. Wow, God is something else. And that's what he's been doing, guys. He's been turning me around into this new person, all for his glory, that life is gonna knock us down sometimes, but challenges are there to make us better, to make us stronger, to make us wiser, and most importantly, bring us close to God. So guys, let me tell you, star girl, I love you. Thank you for this beautiful message. I've been reading it and rereading it. And just like, wow, God, you blow me away with all your attention to every detail of my life. So guys, don't miss out. God is very, very talkative. Seek him. Wake up every day and say, God, I want a closer and closer and closer walk with you. I promise you, the best life is with him. Peace.